All right, this is fourth grade, module five, lesson 36. And in this lesson, students are going to be representing the multiplication of n times a over b as n times a over b. Now, what does that mean? Uh, basically, it means it, we're connecting the old um, repeated, the concept of repeated addition. So we know that three times five can also be thought of as five plus five plus five. So this is the same thing as saying three times five sixths can be repeated, uh, uh, represented as five sixths plus five sixths plus five sixths. And we're going to be connecting that to the concept of multiplication. And we're going to be getting towards essentially that standard algorithm. Let's get going on this. So we're going to begin by representing it visually. So if you have 7 eighths plus 7 eighths plus 7 eighths, uh, using a tape diagram, we would represent this like so. And we cut it into three parts. Why are we going to cut it into three parts? Because we have three things being added. And then we would label each of these 7 eighths, 7 eighths, and 7 eighths. Now, if you want, you can go ahead and also say, hey, all of this equals 21 eighths. Uh, and then write a multiplication expression. Well, we could say 7 eighths plus 7 eighths plus 7 eighths is equal to 3 times 7 eighths. Now, ultimately, we see that we can connect these and we could see that, oh, that's when we're adding these numerators, that's essentially saying 3 times 7 8, all over 8, because when we're adding 7 eighths plus 7 eighths plus 7 eighths, we're really going to add 7 plus 7 plus 7. So that's 3 times 7 eighths, and that's equal to 21 eighths. Now here it says rewrite each repeated addition problem as a multiplication problem and then solve and express your answer as a mixed number if necessary. So we're going to do just problem C on this one. And we can see that we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six of these six copies of 5 twelfths. All right. Now, if we're going to add up all of these fives, what's a fast way of adding them? Well, a lot of your students would say 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So they would get 30. Well, What's another fast way of adding up all of these fives? Well, another fast way is to do 6 times 5. And, of course, we'd get 30. And we, But those aren't just 6 times 5, right? It's 6 times 5 twelfths. By the way, another way you could think of this is you could say, well, this is 6 times 5 twelfths. Oh, my gosh. I don't know how twelve. There. <laughs> I guess that's how you spell twelfths. I don't know. So six times five twelfths. Another way of doing that is saying, well, that's six times five, and then you have twelfths. Oh, um, I lost an H right there. H. Okay, and then that's, of course, thirty twelfths, which is thirty twelfths, all right? And so basically, we're taking that concept down here, and we're putting it over here. So six times five twelfths is the same thing as six times five twelfths, and that gives us thirty twelfths, okay? Now, it says we're supposed to represent it as a mixed number, so what we're going to do is we're going to think about this and uh, think, think of the number thirty. Well, how many twelves are in thirty? Well, you could do 12 twelfths plus another 12 twelfths, and that's 24 twelfths. And then we have six more twelfths, so that's plus six more twelfths. And that's going to give us 30 twelfths, and this is equal to two and six twelfths. Now, how did I get two? Because this is equal to one, and this is equal to one, so that gives us two and six twelfths. Now, of course, don't forget, six and two twelfths can be rewritten as two and one half. All right? And that is how we're going to do 
uh, that whole set of problems. Now here, nice, we get to solve using any method and express your answer in whole or mixed numbers. So let's take a look at this. So let's do 7 times 2 ninths. Well, 7 times 2 ninths is going to be 7 times 2 ninths, and that's 14 ninths. And the idea is, well, what is 14 ninths? Well, a 14 ninths can be thought of as 9 ninths plus 5 ninths. So that's 1 and 5 ninths. Now, when it says any method, that might mean some students are going to prefer to write this as repeated addition. Some might want to use a tape diagram. So parents and teachers, your task is to not rush your students to some st sort of standard algorithm uh, before they're ready. Let your students use whatever method makes the most sense for them at this point. Eventually, they'll become more efficient. So now we're going to practice with some word problems, some context. So it says there were 11 players on Mr. Majorani's softball team, and each of those players ate three-eighths of a pizza. How many pizzas did they eat? So if we wanted to, we could draw those 11 players. And uh, if we were to draw those 11 players, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, we would actually draw out these people. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So there's our 11 people. And each person did... Um, ate three-eighths of a pizza. So this person ate three-eighths, and each of those people, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, each of these people, persons or players, ate three-eighths of a pizza. So I'm giving each person three-eighths of a pizza. And now the idea is we want to add all of these three-eighths. So what's a quick way? Well, we know we're going to add. So basically, we know the denominator is going to be 8, right? Because you, you don't add the denominators, you only add the numerators. So now we've got to do 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus, oh my gosh, 11 times, right? So that's essentially 11 copies of 3 eighths. And a quicker way of doing that is 11 times 3 eighths. And so that's 33 eighths. And I'm going to save this um, for you guys to explain, but this is 4 and 1 eighth. So how many pizzas did they eat? They ate 4 and 1 eighth pizzas. So parents and teachers, I went through from this step to this step. I did very quickly. So parents and teachers, you need to make sure that your students understand what's going on here. Last example for this video, a bricklayer places 12 bricks end-to-end -end along the entire outside length of a shed's wall. Each brick is three-quarters of a foot long. How many feet long is that wall of the shed? So the idea is we're going to have 12 copies of three-fourths. So that means we're going to have 12 times three-fourths, which is equal to 36-fourths. And then the idea is, oh, 36 fourths, that's equal to 9. So the idea, the answer is 9 feet. Now, parents and teachers, once again, I went from here to here really quickly. So you got to make sure that your students understand how I did that jump from here to here. And that wraps up fourth grade module 5, lesson 26. We are now uh, representing multiplication. Uh, using addition and connecting those and we're using visual models and really we're going towards that standard algorithm.